There's a system called TCAS. It stands for Traffic Collision Avoidance System. And this is something that works independently of air traffic control. It works through transponders on both aircrafts. And basically, uh, the, uh, th this equipment uh, gives the exact position of each aircraft, and it can be interpreted by the, uh, uh, the equipment on the other plane. So uh, what it would do effectively is if another aircraft uh, was in the area and uh, was posing a collision risk, uh, the, pilot, the pilots of the plane would be alerted to this, uh, and in certain circumstances, they would be told exactly what to do. They would be given uh, instructions to either climb or descend to get out of the way of the conflicting aircraft. However, um, I can't be sure whether the uh, the helicopter would have had this. It would certainly be have been on the uh, commercial jet, the American Eagle jet. Uh, but whether the military aircraft would have had it or not, I don't know. It probably would have done. But what I would add is that this equipment is not effective at very low level. I believe that any aircraft below uh, 380 feet does not show up on TCAS. So that could be a factor here. And Graham, I mean, the safety record for aviation in the US is really good over the last 15, 16 years. In terms of obviously trying to work out how exactly this has happened, uh, the two black boxes are obviously on the passenger plane. Do military helicopters also have black boxes like that that are retrieved after an incident like this? Absolutely. This aircraft uh, would certainly have had uh, similar equipment, not, not exactly the same as the uh, the CRJ, but it would have had uh, a flight data recorder and uh, a black box, a, um, a cockpit voice recorder as well.